been where the Martin is. Marvin over here in the kitchen, and it's uh, it's pretty warmed up. We'll turn it down, off rather, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, see how it runs on the meter. One point four amps, hundred and ten volts, sixty cycles. It's a little hard to see, but that's what it says. So we're looking for one point four amps. I don't know if that's for one motor or for both of them. I'm not really sure. We'll find out. We're here with Marvin. We'll go to first motor. Warmed up, and they get up right, you know, up to speed right away. So that's uh, 70, it's 0.73 amps, 84 watts, 16 volts. All right. So the next notch up is the other motor. So that one's much warmer. This is the one that was running. So that one runs a little lower. Interesting. And now we'll flip to both motors. So that brings us up to 1.32, so a little under spec. And uh, so there it is. There's your Marvin. That's about the way it runs. Uh, pretty good. Let's shut it off and. Uh, I hadn't really thought much about this, but uh, with the Emerson and the um, vernier switch or whatever the thing is, um, the folks were saying not to run that because it can uh, leak current. I never thought to check these in the off position, <laughs> make sure that they're not pulling current, um, that they're not taking in current. I never really thought about that, so that's something that I'll probably start checking for. So there you go. There's your Marvin. Thanks for watching, y'all. Little update on the old Marvin. I've got it uh, back in the little work porch here, and I uh, I'm hanging it. I put a little screw in, a pretty decent sized screw, into each side of the the molding, and it seems to be fine. I don't think it's gonna move. The fan's not that heavy, and uh, because it did come with at least one of the uh, sliding out arms, I'm able to slide it out. So it's flush against both sides. It probably had two of those, right? It probably had one of those on each side. It doesn't. It came to me like this. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little dealie. Uh, running it on both. And so I think it's good to stay there. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, so there you go. A little bit on the old Marvin. It's, uh, it seems to run pretty good. It needs to be fully disassembled and cleaned. Uh, I didn't really do much to it. I just oiled a little bit and you know um, Grand Annette was saying that you can uh, pull the motor further apart and oil um, a little better so I'll probably do that uh, at some point maybe before we run it next year but for this year I think it's good all right Marvin starving Marvin